for abnormal heart rhythms is the best way to keep your heartbeat in sync. We spoke with Dr. Michael Panutic of Hogue Memorial Hospital Presbyterian in Newport Beach. He explains that many pacemakers are being used for various heart conditions. So device therapy for abnormal heart rhythms is implanting devices such as a pacemaker, a defibrillator, or a bi-V ICD into a patient who either have abnormal heart rhythms such as bradycardia or who are at risk or have had fast abnormal heart rhythms that could be lethal. A patient with a slow heart rhythm or bradycardia will have symptoms such as fatigue, they might have lightheadedness, may even pass out. Patients who require an ICD may have no symptoms at all. They just may have a history of a heart attack or congestive heart failure, may have symptoms of congestive heart failure, but those patients may be at risk for having lethal abnormal heart rhythms. Those patients should consult with their cardiologist to see if they are a candidate to be uh, evaluated by an electrophysiologist. And patients who, have, who require a BI-V ICD are select patients of, who have symptoms of heart failure, shortness of breath with walking, shortness of breath sitting still. However, they have a history of heart failure. What kind of pacemaker is used for abnormal heart rhythms? A pacemaker is a small device which is used to treat people who, patients who have slow heart rhythms. So patients who have symptoms of slow heart rhythms can have a pacemaker implanted. Once the pacemaker is implanted, it should relieve their symptoms of, uh, the, that they're having from the bradycardia. Patients who receive an ICD are generally at risk for having abnormal heart rhythms. Those patients are patients who have coronary artery disease or heart failure, and they're at risk for lethal arrhythmias that could actually kill them. Those patients who are at risk actually will benefit from an ICD because an ICD will constantly watch their heart, and if an abnormal heart rhythm starts, it will either pace the heart or will shock the heart back into its normal rhythm. Patients who have uh, heart failure uh, may benefit from the third type, which is a BI-V ICD, which is an ICD but has a special pacing ability that will allow um, the heart to be paced in a certain way that may relieve heart failure symptoms. We asked Dr. Panutic, how is the device implanted? The device is implanted surgically in the, e in the EP lab. What we do is patients are anesthetized and then in about a two inch incision is done under the clavicle, usually on the left side. Once the incision is made, a pocket is made just beneath the skin. In that pocket is where the device will sit. Once that pocket is created, we use a needle to go into the vein that's coming from the arm. Once we can get that needle into the vein, we can thread the wires or leads down into the heart. Once the lead is in the heart, it's screwed into the heart muscle with a microscopic needle that holds it in place. Finally, the leads are then attached to the device and the device is placed in the pocket and the pocket is sutured up. The benefits of the device are that if you have bradycardia and symptoms from it, the, this will cure your symptoms and you should feel better. For patients who, have, who are receiving ICDs or BI-V ICDs, those patients are at risk for fatal abnormal heart rhythms. And if a patient develops a fatal abnormal heart rhythm that could kill them, this device will actually save their life.